Hi, thanks for joining me and welcome. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build out, price, and option a 2018 BMW 320i X-Drive. Now, I could have gone for the 330 or the 340i. But the reality is, is that a lot of the cars that you're going to see on the road are going to be 320i's. And the other reality is a lot, of them, a lot of them are optioned horribly. So if you are in the market for a new 2018 BMW 320i, please watch this video. At the end, I'm going to save the build in a PDF and attach it in the description below. You can find the, descript or the link to this build in the description below. So that way, if you are buying a BMW 320i, you can ensure that you're going to get a, get a good one because we're going to walk through the process of building one right now. Okay, so obviously if you're getting a 320i, uh, super performance isn't high on your list with a 0 to 60 of 7.1. But hey, you know what? That's okay. That It really is. Um, we're going to go for the X drive. Um, does it not give us the option? Yes, it does. And it bumps us up to a um, MSRP of 36900 Okay, so let's build her out. All right, now that's going to give us a couple of options here. We can do the sport design, which is where we're at apparently because we're at 369. Um, what does that give us? LED fog lights, a rear view camera, 17-inch um, alloys, style 395 wheels. They're all season tires. They're probably run fat flats. BMW have been doing run flats on their cars for a really long time. Um, what does the Sport Plus give us? Sport Plus gives us what? M Sport suspension, sport seats, increased top speed limiter, 18 inch wheels your choice of three styles and more let's go for the sport plus design okay now I realize that a lot of people that might be getting the 320 they're trying to get into a BMW as economically as possible but for this build we're gonna try to build out a really nice what could a 320i look like because most of the time they're optioned really poorly so what could they look like we're gonna find out right now so we're gonna do the sport plus design um and continue without adding a tier or let's add a tier what does this give us comfort access keyless entry i already know that i want that anyway lumbar support heated front seats navigation you're not getting a whole bunch you're not getting a whole bunch let's continue without adding a tier and and let's just look at everything as a whole first before we assume that we need this tier Let's let's look at everything. So let's start with the colors here, and let's see. We don't have much room for scroll, all right, because you can't really see that it says jet black right there. Uh, but you can see the colors. Uh, we've got white here. This is alpine white. Um, then down here we've got jet black. Then we've got black sapphire metallic. So that's going to have a lot more metal flake in it. But what colors do we want? You know, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to do the sunset orange, nor am I going to do the blue or the Melbourne red. Kind of well, the Melbourne red's kind of cool, actually. Actually, the Melbourne red's kind of cool. Let's do Melbourne red. Let's do Melbourne red metallic. Um, so, what does that give us? Does is that a no cost option? No, it's five hundred and fifty dollars. I'm sorry that you can't see that. It's $550. Let me see if I can pull this down. There you go. That's $550. You can see that now. And so, yeah, we're going to go for that. We're going to go for that. We're going to select that, and now we're going to move on to wheels. Okay, wheels. What do we got? Apparently, we only have one option on this car, the 18-inch turbine spoke wheel style 415 with all-season run flats. Like I said, BMW has been doing run flats on their cars for years now. And that's kind of cool. Um, upholstery. All right. What, what are we working with here? We've got the black Sensatec leatherette, which is normally what we see in these. Now, what's this? The black Dakota leather. Let's jump up to the black Dakota leather. Now, what's that going to set us back here? Can we see? No. Okay. 
Um, uh, boom. One thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. There we go. One thousand four hundred and fifty dollars for the black Dakota leather. So let's go for that. It's a little bit of a splurge, but it's a nicer interior. Um, you know, the, I don't think this is going to be a car that's going to break the bank. So we're going to select that and let's move on to trim. Let's see, for trim, what are our options here? We've got um, we've got the silver matte trim, and we have the brushed aluminum. We have the fine line anthracite wood, and then it looks like we have the burl. So what does the burl look like? Eh, the burl's okay. The fine line looks okay. The aluminum, I'm definitely not feeling the aluminum. It just makes the interior look cold, I think. Um, and then you've got the silver matte. Now, the silver matte interior trim, what are we working with here? That's a no-cost option. Now, if we do the brushed aluminum, that's a $500 option, as well as this is $500, and so is the burl. Now, normally I always like the burl, but it seems very dark in this car. It seems like they changed it up a little bit. I don't know. Normally I don't like the aluminum, and it does seem a little cold, but maybe it also brightens the cabin up over the wood, the standard wood that you always see that doesn't really look that good. I'm going to do something way different, and we're going to go with the brushed aluminum look. So we've got the Melbourne Red, and we've got the brushed aluminum look. So we've got a, we definitely have a sport theme going with this car. So even though it doesn't have a lot of performance, we can still have make it have a lot of sport. Because at the end of the day, you're not going that fast when you're driving around town and on the highway anyway. So the car has adequate horsepower at the end of the day. So brushed aluminum trim, $500 option. We're going to go with it. Let's move on to packages. Now what do we have? We have the driver assistance package for $500. And that gives us what? Um, increased peace of mind. Well, let's just do this drop down here. Speed limit info and active driving assist. Now see, I know enough about this that if we select that, now if we select that, do we have to select some other package to get the heads up? Because if we can get speed limit info, does that give us digital display too? No? Yeah, and if so, equipped heads up display. Well, let's find out. Okay, we had to upgrade to the premium tier. All right. Well, hold on a second. Let's find out. Does it tell us what the premium tier is? I guess not. So let's just upgrade to the premium tier. Okay. That's going to add those other things we saw at the beginning of the video. The track handling package. We could probably, we could probably skip over that. I think we could probably skip over that for seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, let's move on to options. Okay, so here here it was. The premium tier package gave us the comfort access, keyless entry, the lumbar support, the heated front seats, the Sirius XM radio with a one-year all-access subscription, and the navigation system. So to that, what can we add? we got to add the Apple CarPlay. So there's not a lot you can add on the 320. So now we can see why you never see a loaded-out 320 because you can't even put an M-Sport package on this car. So... We went with the Apple CarPlay. That's three hundred dollars. You got to get that. The heated rear seats. I think you. I think you should get that. I think that's a good option. The heated steering wheel. You might as well. Uh, what else? Park distance control. Active blind spot. Yeah, these are nickel and dime things that are bumping the price up. But I think that's things that are that we should certainly have. So we're looking at forty-seven thousand four ninety for these things so far park distance control now what does that give us um we've got the active blind spot already park distance control yeah we need that those are the sensors that's just 750 but it's something that if you don't get it you're going to be sad that you didn't and you can't retrofit that i don't think you can just go to the dealer and have that put on i'm pretty sure so this is the time to get that the wireless charging wi-fi hotspot you can certainly not not bother with that so you're into this thing for 50 grand um this technology stuff these are all things that you could get at the dealer uh for accessories at the accessories de uh, department so these aren't things that we need to decide right now as far as this uh bmw ultimate care i if i i'm not sure don't quote me on this but i thought that you got a few years 
where all the you know all your basic oil changes and all that stuff were free. So if that's the case and you're not planning on keeping the car more than you know three or four years, then you probably don't need to pay the extra money to do the vehicle programs. You could probably skip both of those unless you plan on really really keeping this car until you know it's at hundreds of thousands of miles then yeah sure maybe why not max that out if it makes sense for you financially and, and otherwise otherwise we're we're at the end we're all in now we're all in at uh, 48,240 let's go to the summary um we got ours in Melbourne red they only gave us one choice of wheels the cool thing is is in the if you go to the accessories now we won't go there now but if you go to shopping tools up here and you go to accessories you can find if they're available if BMW has sportier wheels for this car they're gonna be here you can search by by year and specific make of a of, um, specific model of BMW and you'd be able to find all the cool accessories if they offer things because they may even offer a body kit to make it look even sportier but the way we sit from the factory we've got the Melbourne red we've got the standard 17 inch wheels we popped for the Dakota black leather and crazily enough when I was just saying how I didn't like the aluminum I thought it was the it ended up being the the my choice I thought it was the nicest looking one out of the bunch so we've got a pretty sporty looking car and in all honesty for me all this car really needs is a better set of wheels on it if it had a better set of wheels on it then it would certainly be a lot sportier uh but it's absolutely a nice car um it started off at 36.9 and we're into it for forty eight thousand dollars so we we definitely went up a lot but you know what? You're gonna if you're gonna have the base model, build it up a little bit. All right, so all in, it's forty nine two thirty five. That's probably with destination and handling. So we're just under fifty thousand dollars. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this build that has all this information. So like I said, if you are in the market for a 2018 BMW 320i and you want one that's a little bit different than the status quo, the one that's normally sitting on the dealer's lot then this would be the one that you can custom order. If you don't like the color, just change the color. But everything else, I'd keep. Absolutely. Okay? So, that's all it. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. And if you have some suggestions on how you would have built out this car, then leave some comments below. I'm always happy to hear how other people would have put these cars together. Okay? Thank you.